Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Residence property slider in VP Residence team. We added this widget in our Madrid demo. Here you can see how it works. Next, I will show how to add this widget on any Elementor page. The first step that you need to take is to edit the page where you wish to add the widget with Elementor. I will add the widget in this column. I will look for the property slider. The widget is called VP Residence Property Slider V2. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. You will have the option to filter the properties in the slider depending on categories, action, city, areas, states or status. Also you will have the option to show featured listings only and also you will be able to set manually the listings that will show by adding the listing ID here. If you will want to filter the listings depending on the categories you will just need to select the category and only the listings from that category will show in the widget. In this video I will show how to add listing IDs. I will go to admin, properties. This is the property ID. I will copy the ID and paste it in the widget. I will copy the second one and do the same for all the listings that I want to display on front end. Once you are done with setting the filter section, you can go to style section and here you will have options to change the widget appearance. You will have the option to change the slider orientation. You will be able to change the title text formatting, change font family, font size, font weight and other settings. From price typography you will be able to change the price font formatting, you will be able to change font family, font size, font weight and other settings. Also you will be able to change the font color for title and the colors for price background and price font color. In the next section in arrow style you will be able to change the style for the arrows, you will be able to change the color, the background color, the hover color and the background hover color. Also in box shadow you will be able to change shadow settings. The setup of the widget is done. I will save my changes and this is how the widget will show on front end. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.